This skateboard is 3D printed. Does it hold and can you ride it? For the last three years I have been designing, prototyping and printing countless hours. But there is a problem. How do you 3D print a skateboard that is way bigger than a normal 3D printer? I decided to go with Ecosa boards. They are compact, light and perfect for the city and about 22 inches or 55 cm long. But that is still bigger than my 3D printer's build area which is limited to only 250 by 220 mm. So that means we have to split it into several parts, but how many? And how do we make the joints strong enough? Let's start modeling. I added hexagons to the board so it's strong and has a unique look. I split the board into four parts that make it easy to print and the truck supports the middle part. Now the design is done. But what is the best material to print with? We need something really stiff, but what is stiffness? Let's take a simple beam. If we press down in the middle, the beam will bend. The less it bends under the same force, the stiffer the material is. For my test, I went with the 3 point bending test from Yantech. Huge thanks for making it available. I tested a total of 29 different filaments. I checked each one for the stiffness. More on that later. For this video, I'm choosing PCCF from Adnord and GreenTech Pro from Extruder. Both were kindly provided by the manufacturer. But of course, you will get my honest opinion. I chose PCCF because it's the stiffest filament I have tested so far. I will print it on the Cusa Core 1 which can reach over 55 degrees of Celsius inside the enclosure. Perfect for printing materials like PC. GreenTech Pro on the other hand is already quite stiff. It's sitting somewhere in the middle of the range. It just prints easily as PLA, so you don't need an enclosure for it. Now that we know which filament to use, next question is how many parameters and how much infill gives the stiffest print? I tested this as well. In the result, the blue curve shows the number of parameters and the open curve shows the infill percentage. You can clearly see that adding more parameters has a much bigger effect on the stiffness than increasing the infill. And going from 30 to 60% infill doesn't make the material much stiffer. For my skateboard, I choose 5 parameters and 30% driver infill, which gives the best stiffness to weight ratio. Alright, let's start printing. I'm connecting the parts of the skateboard using M5 screws. Let's move on to the trucks. We could just buy them, but that would be too easy, right? So I decided to make my own one from scratch. First comes the base plate. The bushing and the reels are printed from TPU. I use clamping rings to attach the reel. The trucks are done. Now a final look. Let's test it. Both materials are by far stiff enough.
And yes, you can actually write it. If you wouldn't like to make your own skateboard, you can find all the files and a detailed step-by-step -step instruction on Printable. The guide also includes all test results and everything you need to print and assemble your own board. You will find a link in the video description.